Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, sorry I haven't been posting for the past couple of weeks. I don't know if any of you guys saw my post on YouTube. I made a public post. Uh, I've been dealing with a kidney stone for the past three weeks and it's been horrible. Worst pain I've ever gone through in my life. Hope that none of you ever have to deal with it. But that's besides the point. Welcome back to another video. So, uh, this past so this past weekend wasn't many garage sales because of the hurricane that was coming in off the coast. Um, there was literally none at all because everybody thought it was going to be storming and bad weather. So I uh, wasn't really able to hit any garage sales this weekend at all. So I called my guy. Uh, he said he had some stuff that he wanted to get rid of. And so we're going to head over there because the shelves are getting kind of bare, guys. Uh, we have a few video games left, a couple of things here and there. Anyways, guys, I'm doing enough talking. Let's get out of here. Let's go to my guy's house. Uh, he said he's got the whole garage set up for me. He's got some awesome stuff set out for me to buy, and he says he's going to give me a really good deal on it. So let's head over there and see what we can find. All right, guys, so we are at my guy's house. Let's go ahead and see what he's got for us. Uh, and I've got him a gift, so he's going to be super happy about that. Uh, let's go check him out and talk to him. What's up? Hey. Holy crap. Hey. You've got tons of stuff out. Jesus. Wow. Okay. Tons and tons of stuff. Well, I got you a gift, man. Oh, Ooh, wow. There you go. Sweet. Appreciate that. Awesome. Yeah. True Jedi. JVC. JVC. It's got the manual and the game and the cardboard oh, it's insert. All complete? That's yeah. cool. It doesn't have like all the other ones, but I'm sure you probably oh, yeah. have all the other ones that go with it. I never know what does come in with, you know, with like the little advertisements and yeah. all that stuff. So I figured you cool. probably had those. Jesus. I, I got sorted a bunch of, of the plastic cases to put a bunch of my stuff in. Oh, uh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, I got a bunch of those plastic cases for the Switch games too. Yeah. Came across some of those. Jeez Louise. So, Tons of stuff. I was uh, thinking about it, uh -huh. and I was going to throw this out, everything that's on the table, uh -huh. thousand bucks, takes all of it. Thousand bucks? And that's all the boxes, an extra thing of packing Ooh. bubble. Jesus. All, and, and also the, all the Beanie Babies. Oh, I don't want the Beanie Babies. <laughs> I don't want the Beanie Babies. Oh, uh, I just got rid of all my Beanie Babies yesterday. I know yesterday. there's like stuff you want and then there's probably stuff in here you don't want, but I was yeah. like, you know what? I don't know. Huh. Like, I'm ready for it to... Get out of here, huh? Yeah, I'm coming in some stuff. These are the only two games that were I have duplicates of. Okay. Another one of my snafus, I bought it and I got home like I already had it. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. There's an American Girl doll. We looked her up, she's selling for about 80 bucks. She is? Out okay. of the box. So oh wow. She's only missing her little book. Uh-huh. But I don't know. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, that's a drone. It's it a says drone? It, yeah, it says it only flies like a close it's close to the ground. Yeah. So it's it like it yeah. like the speeder bike. Yeah. I'm sure you could fly it higher. I'm not that's sure. cool. But this is a drone too? Those are both drones. Oh wow. Yeah. Those actually still got the original stickers on them, but they don't sell for that anymore. Oh wow, that's cool. So, huh, that's interesting. Because I think hmm. when I picked those up, I got them for like 75% off. So, like, I got them for like 20, 30 bucks. Wow. Oh, cool. Some comics. Also, Transformer stuff. Some odd mix ins, but a lot of Transformers. Yeah, stuff like this, I just throw in a big lot. Just yeah. let people buy it like that. World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Cool. Casio. Wow. Lots of stuff. Yeah. These are new. These uh pick these up on clearance. They, they actually brand new, they'll sell for like 15 bucks a pack. Really? And I think they're selling for like 10 now online, but it's easy to Halloween's, ship. Halloween's Halloween's getting ready to roll around. It's easy, cheap to ship. Yeah. So I was like, and it's got the Halloween stencils in them. Oh, okay. What 
What is that? Those are, those are like little collectible figurines. Uh, Boston, English Boston, yeah. sick. They sell 20 to $40 online normally, depending on what there's bunches of them. Right. I think that's more of an old lady collectible kind of thing. Right. That's brand new. That that's my, uh, my wife's going to want to keep that. Yeah, I figured there's some things in here too that you might want like keep. Shop pins. That's an exclusive set, complete. It's used, but yeah, I'm going to put them back in there. My daughter's probably going to start getting into these Shopkins things. And these are all Shopkins. Oh, wow. I mean, there's the, the Littlest Pet Shop, Shopkins, Shopkins. These are empty. But my daughter used to keep her Shopkins in here. Oh, okay. Nice gotcha. cats, foxes, bunnies. Right. And I wanted to say there was another thing full of freaking loose. Yeah, these are all loose. Uh, little, actually, that's Just animal, like stuff that animal comes with the shopping kits. Yeah, there's all kinds. Cool. But, hmm. <laughs> What's in these over here? Is that Beanie Babies? babies. And you, you were talking, what's all, is this under the table too? or no, we're just on top of it. On top of it. Jump, jump. Oh, jump, jump. Okay. See, the jump, jump and stuff, I'm still keeping it like from each Yeah, active. Pump it up. Scene. Okay, so if we take the Beanie Babies this out. Beanie is all. Yeah, that stuff yeah. will sell. You just lock that stuff up yeah. on eBay, it'll sell. Somebody will buy it. Yeah. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. <laughs> I got it from, uh, man, where did I get that thing from? Oh, the, the, the Natural Museum of yeah. Science in Houston? Yeah. Remote sale. Yeah, that's one of those fancy ones. That's a yeah. $100 remote. Yeah, those sell pretty yeah, good. Yeah, there might be some stuff I didn't dig out, like, like salt and pepper shaker. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing those last time. What is this? A Death Star puzzle game. You got to get the marble through the tracks and stuff. Oh, okay. Honestly, I just saw one sell on Facebook for That's like 25 cool. bucks. Yeah, some of the stuff might be local sales. That's the stand for it. That's cool. Earbuds. Lots of stuff, huh? And honestly, the theme babies, I didn't really factor into the price. They were just like one of those. If you buy this, you gotta take the video. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> they were given to me, so I was like, I'll give them to someone else. Yeah. Did you you, you could I probably paid, sell them on Facebook. Yeah, the only thing I paid for in the Beanie Babies was the little cases that the, a lot of them are in. Oh. Uh, have you, have but you? I paid like 20 bucks for like the box of them. Have you tried getting rid of them on eBay? I mean, on Facebook? I haven't tried. Yeah, I'll just put, take a picture of all yeah. of them and put them on Facebook, I'll man. That. Figured I'd give you first run at it. But yeah. Hmm. <laughs> a few more Star Wars figures in there, but just like four or five. Okay. Yeah, I know it's all in these. Not boxes, good stuff here. Oh, you're good. I'm just kind of taking a peek. Yeah. Making the, sure there's stuff in there. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Huh. Okay. What's what was in that box there again? The top one? Yeah. Movies and like just a couple of games. I was gonna take that to the because a lot of them got scratches and stuff. Oh, uh, do they? Probably wouldn't be. I mean, you can take a look. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look at those again real quick. There are some anime movies that might. Yeah, I know the anime stuff does pretty good. Like this stuff here, I think would I sell. know those two were good. That one had an issue, like it wasn't holding the charge. Like it would okay. work when it was plugged in. Yeah, people still buy them though, yeah. even if they're not working. 
not for a whole lot, but they'll yeah. buy them. So there's some good anime stuff in here. Yeah. Some 5200 games. Okay. A couple Genesis games. Okay. 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 The, these in there. Those two. No, no, because. These? These are kind of scratched up. Oh, they're scratched. I got a, I've got a uh, cleaner. Oh, you do? Yeah, I've got a JFJ Pro. I they were pretty. Oh, if you got, you got any disc that you need cleaned, I've got a JFJ Pro at the house. Oh, okay. So if you need anything cleaned, you let me know. I'll clean it for you. They weren't bad. Just. I mean, oh, yeah. This needs a buff. It just Quick needs buff. a good buff. Light scratches. Yeah, if you got a JFJ, it'll make those. Oh, man. You're overwhelming me, dude. Oh, this one's actually nice, but I guess I just had some yeah, that was good stuff. Um, yeah, so like if. If you got anything like upstairs that got scratched up that you like, it's like a collector's piece of yours. Yeah. And you need it clean, just let me know. That's cool. I've got that. Because they charge you at that plate. I was actually thinking about buying one with JFJ one. Oh, dude, it's so worth it, though. I know. If, if you, For as many games as I have. Yeah, if you like, deal with that a lot and you want to, and and you need to like keep your disc in shape, some something got scratched or whatever, they're totally worth it, man. I mean, going through all this there's a um cardboard. it's really easy to clean them yeah, I super the, simple the guy show me as he went through it i'm like oh that's too easy yeah they use a different one though they use one that's well, they like had the they started out with the jet is thing. that what they started out with yeah a long time ago oh uh, they got yeah. some like crazy machine now yeah, it's they big they, they can stick like two grand. yeah they can no he says like 20 grand, oh, 20 grand yeah. yeah he said it you can stick 50 disc in it hey sir uh and it will just go all right, so we got these boxes here. Got all this Falcon stuff. Upstairs, you want to buy it? A Millennium Falcon? Yeah. What for? What? For what? Huh? Uh, what? What Millennium? Uh, it's a Toys R Us exclusive vintage edition. It's a, it's still in the original Toys R Us. Are you talking about the big one? Yeah. The really big one? Yeah, it sells for about nine hundred to a thousand. Oh my god! Anyway. Really? Yeah, and it's still and it's like it's not even been taken out of the shipping box. It's still oh wow! In the shipping box. What do you want for it? That one's not just teasing. <laughs> I'm holding on to it. Yeah, well, I, that's what I would do if I were you, because that, that's probably one that's going to go up in value pretty well. All this right. Is, I mean, I guess Toys R Us is coming back. But. So if we take out the Beanie Babies, um, I didn't really want the Beanie Babies, unfortunately. Okay. I know you wanted to get rid of them, but I just, if I bring home those Beanie Babies, my wife will kill me. General Zod. General Zod. Some of this stuff, like. That's for an older one. Yeah. Four, I think. All right, man. Nope. Um. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Let's see. And then and the box down there. Oh, this too? Yeah. Oh, I hadn't even factored that. I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that because it's got the anime stuff in there. I think the anime stuff will do well. These two, all of these, red versus blue, are autographed. I don't know if that's authentic, but I saw the autographs on them and I looked it up and it's all the creators of the oh, game. cool. The games and they're in good condition. Okay. So those might sell to someone. Not, I don't. I doubt you get autograph value out of them because there's no authenticity. So right, right, right. But well, somebody will notice them and give make an offer on them, probably. Spawn. Um. Man, a thousand dollars. Eight hundred bucks. With this included? Yeah. That's just it. I said the Beanie Babies I was throwing in there, man. Yeah. Like, like, that was like, you got to take the trash out. With, with the, <laughs> <laughs> if you want the deal on this stuff, uh, you got to take the trash this, out. There's just, I mean, there's just some stuff in these boxes yeah. that like, like I wouldn't even, I'd probably just put in a garage sale and sell it. Those are cool. My daughter's room would probably use one of those. Yeah, I bought those for my daughter to give to mm. friends. But then her friends went into the Pelicans or... Hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> um, so minus the beanie babies. 
but you want this because you could probably sell those beanie babies for like 200 bucks on on yeah facebook probably, probably. you probably get it because there's people that still collect them I, what i did was i put them in lots of 20 on ebay and they sold yeah so you might try so that you like three i just got ones with one of the princess diana ones, right you know? right that's <laughs> what i did so i put like a few gems in there and yeah. then i put the rest as trash yeah. and people were buying them for like 35 dollars a box so what i did was i got the large flat rate boxes yeah. from the from um the post office it large is. and filled the large flat rate box 20 yeah. beanie babies fit in there perfectly okay so i i taped it up stuck it on my shelf listed it yeah. and then when it sold just went and grabbed the box threw the label on it took it to the post office says Sweet. you know it made it really simple and it, it got rid of them you know that's true so i think i've only got like one box left so you could do that with these too yeah, I know. You make it sound so simple. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, just dealing with them. Oh, that's cool. Damn, it's heavy. Yeah. Jesus. It's a game, so. Oh, cool, man. A lot yeah. of cards and cardboard and that's cool. Yeah. My wife's gonna go through these boxes. I guarantee she's gonna gonna want to keep a lot of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's cool stuff, though. A lot uh, of cool stuff. And this stuff back here too, right? Yeah. Active. 900 bucks mm -hmm. i think that's a, i think that that leaves me enough room yeah all right there's a few of these things you'll make back your 900 quick and then everything Thanks. it's got to be worth your time right yeah and i'm getting my totes back yes 900 bucks okay and uh, i'll throw in that speaker you <laughs> all right thank you hell yeah appreciate it dude i think it's a fair deal I think yeah. it's a really fair deal. Yeah, you're helping me out to uh, getting rid of some stuff for you. Notice how much space it's going to clear up over there. Yeah, um, so I appreciate it, man. Yeah. I haven't been going to garage sales for the past three weeks. I just hadn't had any, the energy. Yeah, dude, they, like kidney stone straight takes your energy away. Oh, I know. You're mm -hmm. nauseous all the time. Like I'm still nauseous. So that too. Yeah, that's I like. I wasn't going to take the big one if you did, like if you were going to let me take one. Well, we needed an extra one. Yeah, we yeah, need one, I have so. Yeah, small one in the house. I need to Cause the big one. We we uh we loaded up our what is it the the like the tube looking ones. What are those called? Mm -hmm. Um, the um, I can't remember the name of them. The UE the UE boom. People like tying these to their tubes floating down the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we had the UE boom, and we when we loaded up the RV last week to go camping. Mm -hmm it was it, we could we couldn't get it to take a charge mm -hmm. so we were gonna go buy another one and i was like oh he's probably got one of those all right pick one up all right so 900 bucks huh sure let's do it all right let's get it loaded up guys so we have made it back to the house we've got everything unloaded from the car here i'm going to go through it real quickly with you guys kind of show y'all everything that's in these boxes you saw most of it in the video uh, but i do want to kind of do a quick rundown of what there is here um, we ended up paying 900 for everything that you see in these boxes i think there's plenty of money to be made here uh, i think most of our money we're going to be making back probably out of the a lot of these um dvds in here uh, a lot of the uh, bigger boxed items there and there is a few um bigger box items in this crate but yeah let's just go through it show you guys what we got um i would imagine estimated value uh in this whole set here i would estimate probably hmm, probably about twenty five hundred dollars maybe three grand maybe close to three grand after it's all said and done um and yeah some of this stuff is probably gonna be garage sale stuff we're planning on having a garage sale in a, a couple of weeks probably either this weekend or next weekend depends on um we got a new rv so i think we might go camping this next weekend but the weekend after that 
we'll probably uh, have a garage sale because I got a bunch of old toys and this furniture in the garage that we need to get rid of uh, so that I can clean the garage up and make it nice and neat like it used to be. So um, yeah, let's dive into these boxes real quick. So in this first box up here on the top, uh, we got some Star Wars stuff. This here is a Revenge of the Sith, Sith Ultimate Villain. Um, Luke Skywalker, looks like his head, head comes off there. He turns into Darth Vader. Uh, pretty cool little guy there. Don't know how much that's worth, but it's cool. Uh, we also have this Millennium Falcon drone. We have two of these. Airhog Millennium Falcon drones, pretty cool. Um, those should bring decent money. So, not bad there. There's also a speeder bike drone in here somewhere. Uh, it's right there. And uh, those should bring decent money. Uh, this box here, let's see here, uh, Magical Unicorn Remote Control, it's a drone, that's pretty cool. Um, and some of this stuff, guys, probably going to be like uh, garage sale items, not going to put it on eBay. If I can't get at least $20 or more for it, it'll probably go in the garage sale. Or maybe, I'd say probably $10 or more, and some of this stuff I can probably lot up and uh, get more money. So um learn to code with a smile uh looks like a little robot thing here some kind of uh littlest pet shop things probably lock those up put those on ebay star wars original vhs tapes uh we've also got karma kitty lola my fortune telling fort furball uh just a bunch of little things here like this would be something you could like lot up with all this and uh sell for like you know 29.99 on ebay someone looking for some birthday gifts would buy a lot like that and then down the bottom there's a monster high doll brand new in the box and i, I think that's probably going to bring decent money i don't know which one it is i'm not going to dig it out of there uh but it should bring decent money we'll see this box right here and all these crates guys i'm returning back to him uh, he didn't give me the crates too he's i'm gonna bring these back to him once i'm done with everything uh in this box we have a bunch of star wars figures uh these types of figures any of the stuff that's from like episode one um this is all like newer star wars toys I will put all of these in a single lot and sell them all together because I'll get more money and they'll move a lot faster. Uh, just a lot of Star Wars stuff in here. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Uh, you may fire when ready. Looks like these are just little weird little things there. Um, got a Titanfall 2 Pilot Jack Cooper action figure gears of war action figure that's cool uh, we got a star wars black series han solo uh just a lot of really cool stuff like this these are little coffee cups star wars uh stuff like this all lot up all in a lot together uh yeah so just stuff like that in this box not high value stuff but i mean I would say probably this whole box right here is probably going to bring at least 200 bucks, 300 bucks, maybe uh, once it's all sold and gone. But um, yeah, so maybe I'd say probably 200, not 300, but yeah, probably $200 in here in this one box. In this box, we have uh halloween's coming up so these are probably going to sell pretty well uh these are going for like 10 bucks i think on ebay i didn't look them up that's what he said they were going for but who knows um they may not be going for that much i don't know but i'll look them up um ever dry this is a dehumidifier but there's a spa a foot spa down there on the bottom my wife's probably going to want to keep that this is like a little collectible head figure uh don't know maybe you guys can tell me what this is um boston's 
Gongleton England World Copyright S. So it's some kind of collectible figure. Uh, I don't know, who knows, that might be worth something. Uh, Gam Wellbeing um, Foot or Calf Stretchers. I'm sure those go for decent money. That's cool, just a bunch of odds and ends. He threw this into the deal. I saw this on the shelf when I was leaving. He threw that into the deal. Um, that I think this should sell for like 15, 20 bucks on eBay, probably. Uh, we also have uh, this little Darth Vader helmet, 3D dec decoration light. That probably sells for decent money. I uh, got the High School Musical Dance 3 dance pad with the game, new in the box. Um, the, the speeder bike. I uh, got this Magic the Gathering game. I got one of those Force Link. This is a Force Link uh, Han Solo's Land Speeder. Uh, these I know do pretty well. These little remote console, remote control um, Star Wars figures. Pump it up. Exceed for the original Xbox. American Girl. Uh, this American Girl sells for around 100 bucks, 80 bucks uh, on eBay. And then we have this Active Workout thing for the PlayStation 3, I think. Uh, this right here sells pretty decent on eBay, not too bad. And then we have this whole stack over here. We haven't gone through, so let's go through this one too. This one has a bunch of uh, Angry Bird stuff. I've already sold a bunch of this stuff before. I know it can bring decent money. Um, and I know these probably aren't gonna be worth a ton of money, these ones here. Uh, but I'll lot them up together and get more. So, or just get more than what I would have. I sold them singly and they'll move a lot faster. These Disney Infinity things, uh, I know that some of these can be, uh, this is an originals, so this one can bring decent money. Uh, we've also got this Marvel Superheroes Disney Infinity 2.0 edition power disc album bundle. Um, Chocolate, Spire, M&M's, uh, some kind of collectible, some kind of shirt, uh, more of this uh, Infinity Star Wars stuff. I'll probably just lot all of these together, you know, throw them up for like 20, 30 bucks on eBay. Uh, let's see here. We got some Pez dispensers over here. Um, Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars, yeah, it's all Star Wars. Um, lock those up. Um, telepods for the for that. Uh, and then we have a bunch more Infinity stuff over here. Like here's a Cars one, Toys R Us edition. Uh, I know some of this Toys R Us edition stuff can bring decent money as well. So um, I would say in this box, probably close to closer to $300 here 200 probably 250 I'd say there's at least $250 in value in this box because uh, I've sold a lot of this stuff before and I just got an eye a good idea of what it's going to go for so I would say as of right now just in the boxes that we went through right here we went through one two three four five boxes I'd say close to my money back just in these four or five boxes and the rest of it will be profit. So, um, or maybe we may be one more box in to get to the profit, but, uh, definitely. All right. So this one here, let's go through this one real quick. Okay. So this is, and you guys comment down below, uh, that global sale is brand new. Uh, comment down below. My wife's gonna want that. I already know. I already know she's gonna want that. <laughs> I'm gonna set that over there. She'll want that from my daughter's my daughter's room. Um, this stuff here is what's it called again? These are called. Um, I don't even know the freaking name of these things. <laughs> There's a little Pikachu hat that'll sell. Um, I forget what you call these things. Shopkins. These are all Shopkins, okay? Um, probably what I'll do is lot them, do huge lots of this stuff. And I know this stuff sells really well. So Shopkins, you ever find it out there, guys, in big, big lots like that? You can get it cheap, buy it, because it does, it does sell. 
I don't know if people buy that stuff. Like hotcakes. Alright, next box. More Star Wars stuff. Figures, figurines. Uh, ton, just tons and tons of Star Wars stuff in this one. Uh, a bunch of, a few, few different Funko Pops. Like there's one from the office space. Uh, a bunch of these m and m star wars empires uh, just some collectible star wars stuff what is this thumb i don't know just a garage sale item uh let's see here darth vader star wars mighty mugs a bunch of funko pops down there in the bottom probably not any crazy high value funkos probably can just lock those all together but again, probably another $100 box, $200 box maybe here. Um, so not too bad. The next box, um, another Monster High doll here. I know these got to bring some decent money, surely. So uh, I see other YouTubers selling these and they're, they're getting decent money for them. So that's got to bring some decent money. Uh, Rainbow Rocks, and then these are another Angry Birds Valder Pig Carry Case. Um, just odds and ends. Uh, some more Star Wars stuff. Uh, Marvel, little light up. Um, these will sell in the um, garage sale, you know, for $2. Um, a little punching bag thing on your, for your desk. Uh, but yeah, probably like a... I don't know, $50 box there, $60 maybe. So not bad, but not too bad. I've already went over, I'd say probably one, two, and these three boxes here, uh, this is the speeder bike. Uh, it flies real low to the ground, so it looks like this, you know, speeder bike off of Star Wars, but uh, really cool. Uh, that right there will probably bring some decent money. Uh, but yeah, these, uh, these three boxes, I would say probably at least a hundred bucks in those three. I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on these guys. I'm just kind of giving you a guesstimate, but there's all of this stuff here, guys. This is all anime, uh, Robotech, Witchblade, Blue Guider, bunch of, um, Witchblade. These go down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like we got the whole season there. Um, some random CDs, uh, Star Wars. Oh, these are iPods right here. Um, these little iPods. I think he said he said two of them work just fine and uh, hold a charge, and the other one of them doesn't hold a charge, which I'll probably just lot them all up, sell them all together. Uh, a little, there's an old uh, Samsung phone, an old iPhone, or just an iPod. Oh, there we go. Works too. Nice. This is an iPhone. This is like a iPhone 4, 5 maybe. So not too bad. Uh, just some, here's a Google Chromecast. Is that what that is? Google Chromecast. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a bunch of these in here. Star Fox Zero for the Wii U. It's a dual game set. Comes with a bonus disc. Uh, there's four of those in here, I think. Couple Sega Genesis games, um, World of Illusion, Mickey Mouse, and then there's Chuck Rock, uh, and then some Atari games, and then drums, learn how to play, Harold and Kumar. Just some random DVDs here. Probably just lock these up together. But uh, I would say in this box alone, there could be at least anywhere from three to five, three to four hundred dollars in value. I haven't added it up, guys. Don't quote me on that. But I think there's some good value in this box and uh, good money to be made on this box. That's why I wanted him to throw it into the deal as you guys saw in the video because I knew that there was some money to be made in there. Uh, we got General Zod from Superman. Uh, these are some binoculars, I think. Oh, no, this is a Nintendo Game Boy Advanced bag. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice little bag that'll sell. Uh, Yahtzee steal the deal we got this hot wheels uh pool float we got this flamingo boat probably 
keep the Flamingo for the RV. Then we have a bunch of these uh, Disney Infinity things. Lock those up together. And then we have some um, something jams. There's some random odds and ends. Um, these are called Animal Jams. So don't know if those sell well or not. We got a Labyrinth Tabletop Maze. And then we got a uh, Air Marker Sprayer. Um, should bring some money there. Uh, this Magic the Gathering game, I never looked it up, but I think it'll bring decent money. Then we have that. And then this right here, this case, this little metal case is full. And I'm saying full to the brim with Disney Infinity, Infinity things. Um, so yeah, we will definitely be lotting those up and selling those on eBay because Put them all in a big lot and sell them all so so we went through all of these boxes we got these over here still to go through so that's that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten tubs we've gone through then we have this the 13th 14th and 15th tub down here um i don't really know what's in it let's see uh there's some video games here, a couple of video games, not much. I, I'm going to kind of, I'm, I'm starting to kind of stray away from the video games, guys. I want to get into different stuff and, and pick, I want to start picking like uh, vintage stuff and, and like World War II era stuff. And I just want to start finding stuff that's just, you know, different. I'm getting tired of, of the video games and it's just too repetitive for me. Uh, I want to mix it up a little bit make it fun and uh that's cool technico engineering and robotics i'll still sell video games and if i come across them and it's a good enough deal i'll buy it but i'm not gonna be chasing you know the cheap cheapo cheapo video games anymore um you know like that big lot of video games i bought a while back the big huge box so it was like over 200 video games in it I ended up selling most of that stuff off and made a good amount of money, but uh, it was just a ton of work for you know little return over time. I, I want to start flipping stuff that is going to you know I buy for five bucks and flip it for fifty uh, and at a, from a garage sale. That's the kind of buys I want to start doing. So uh, I did this just to kind of get my eBay replenished and uh, more inventory in the eBay because it, it has gotten kind of low and uh, I'm around 240 listings right now and we need more listings on eBay. So I kind of just wanted to do this to get it replenished and then we're gonna start picking, um, to start kind of changing our style up a little bit. Surely you guys know what I mean, but um, yeah. So some cool stuff in here, um, just odds and ends. There's some Hot Wheels in this box here. Oh yeah, cool. There's some Hot Wheels in those boxes. He said these games were scratched, which is not a big deal because I have the JFJ Easy Pro. Um, and we can clean those up and get those sold. But a box of Hot Wheels down there, probably just lot all those together. They're like Batman and Spider-Man Hot Wheels. A bunch of Call of Duty stickers, decals, laptop decal kits and stuff like that. Um, this remote right here will definitely bring really good money. I know because it's a Phillips uh, it's like a universal remote uh, thermos, two thermoses, uh, just odds and ends in there. Talk, talk about cute. My daughter will like that. Uh, but yeah, I'd say $100 box all day long. Probably more guys, but I'm just, I'm kind of under, underestimating right now. Um, but we've got our money back in just, a, I think, three three of these boxes is boxes we should be able to get our money back uh there were some comics in this box just some random comics uh force grab star wars and then there's some spy stuff i sold spy stuff before i bought some spy stuff from the from this same from my guy before and it sold really well so i know that'll do pretty good uh calculator some kind of robot looking thing uh discovery science kits stuff like that for kids and being that kids are stuck at home right now and aren't i don't think a lot of them are going to be going to school 
this year stuff like that's going to be selling on ebay for parents to do science stuff with their kids at home uh, so i think stuff like that's going to do really well hey guys hope you enjoyed that video uh the rest of the file was corrupted on the last two boxes there was a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff in the last two boxes nothing crazy uh but i will keep you guys updated from time to time on the stuff that sells from these boxes and how we're doing uh for that matter hope y'all enjoyed be sure to like comment subscribe uh, if you're new to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video peace out